You all set? I am. All right, Jason Tiger. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about using YouTube on your website. I'm going to kind of go through a few different plugins. Um, Steve, give me 20 minutes, so let's see how fast I can get through it all. So um, this is basic WordPress template, and, or rather theme. I'm not using anything special here. Um, this particular page, or rather site itself, has a few plugins that I've installed to kind of optimize YouTube um, to be able to have it display correctly and also be able to have it responsive. Um, I'm happy that I heard the word responsive, so it sounds like at least a few of you know how responsive works. Um, so quick little show of hands. Um, how many people have put YouTube videos on your website? Okay. Um, how many have put them on their website, had a responsive website, and said, wow, why is this thing like cut off on the left and right, or why is it weird shaped, or why did I get you know, bars on the top or bottom, or something like that? Great. So what I'm going to do is kind of show you how you can pull that off using uh, a couple plugins. So um, first of all, let's go over to the, the website here, and you can see one of our WP Water Cooler episodes. And if you scroll down, and if you want to look on this on your own mobile device or whatever, feel free to. You can just go to this web address, demo.wpmedia.pro, and then you can take a look at it there. So if I go in a, it's always fun to use somebody else's laptop. Let's see here. Let's, um, Click and drag. You can see how it scales down. So you get a nice, clean mm -hmm. scaling. You also don't get any of the, uh, the kind of cropped out uh, black bars that show up on the bottom. Um, I'll show you what it looks like when you don't have this plugin installed. Which plugin is this? Oh, I can't tell you yet. I haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> so the plugin I'm using is a plugin called Fluid Video Embeds. There's a whole bunch of ways to do this. There's some that Steve was talking about, or rather he was alluding to, but didn't actually mention which one he uses. But what, the, what this plugin does um, extra is it does, um, we learned about APIs today, so the, the, what it does is it uses an API call and goes out to YouTube and says, hey, what's the resolution of this video? So if you had a video that's super wide, and you scale it down, it's going to stay wide, but it's going to crop off the top and make it a nice, clean-looking box. So this plugin is absolutely free. You can go into the uh, repository and take a look at it there. Um, we'll go into the settings here, and you can see how the settings are set up. So the first box on the top specifies what the maximum width you want it to be is. Um, since uh, on my site, sometimes I change the theme and forget about editing this box. And so if you were to set it to, say, 500 or something like that, it won't scale all the way out to the full responsive page that I have. Um, so you can set that, set that uh, width up there. You can also set what the container is going to be in, either left, right, or center. And then there's this cool little extra box here that you can set that will check to see how, the, how, how wide the page is. And if it's too narrow, it'll actually replace the video with a link that says click here to check out the video. So that, that's kind of handy. Because um, you know, someone that's on your, their mobile device, and maybe your theme has huge borders on the side, won't be able to watch the video anyhow. So that kind of takes care of that for you. And that intercepts the embed? It does. That's the cool part. So we learned about embeds today. And what O-embeds do is it goes out to the website, pulls in that, you know, that video or that image or whatever and displays it. Well, what this does is, just like you were saying, it goes and takes that O-embed, it optimizes it, does a call out to YouTube and says, hey, YouTube, what's the you know, aspect ratio of this video? Comes back, so it's aspect ratio, and everything's fine. So let's go and disable the plugin so we can see how ugly this ends up looking. <coughs> we'll go back here. We'll go back to my O embed page. And let's make sure I'm not cached or anything like that. And let's scale this down. And you can see all oh, that black box shows up on the top and the bottom. See right here, you can see how that, that black box started displaying there? Start going. It's like scaling inside of this thing. And that doesn't look good. And you know, there's it also took out a few other things that took out this bar on the top here and such. And there's some configuration changes you can do to 
to solve that. So if we go back real quick, go into our dashboard, and turn on that plugin. I'll just look at it one more time just so you can see how lovely it is. And look at our main page. Go to Embed. And now you can see how it kind of cropped off the bars on the top and bottom, made it nice and clean. And when it scales, it scales nice and easy. So there's that plugin. So we'll disable that because I don't want these things to fight against each other because we're going to be doing some fun stuff in a second. Another plugin that, no, that one's totally free. It's in the repository. You can download it and install it. It takes two seconds. Um, the next one you can get is one called Foobox. And what Foobox does, and I cheated because I went through and set all these up. Um, what Foobox does is it does a, um, a pop-up window for you. So if you click on this button, pops it open, boom, there's my video. And nice, ugly looking background bar and powered by Foobox and all of that. And it also adds these extra little features where you can change these different um, uh, shareable links. So if I were to click on one of these, it will then share out to Facebook or YouTube or Twitter, Facebook, Twitter, all the others. So to make this thing look pretty, or make it so you can you know, make it full screen, and that sort of thing, is we can go into the Foobox um, configuration. Is this one responsive? This one is responsive in its um, in that box itself, so it will kind of shrink down a little bit, but it's not as responsive as the the fluid uh, video embeds. So if we go into settings and go to Foobox, um, this one is a paid plugin, by the way. And thank you for making it a bunch of little stars, so you can't see my code. Um, so if we go in here, you can see the uh, you can set up a color scheme. So you can do a white color scheme or pink color scheme or whatever you want. You can also change the icon sets, so you'll have different icons be displayed. And you can change the different loading, little loading spinners that are right here. Now what Foobox does, um, that uh, they actually just recently added in this feature of being able to do video in it. What it does is it, it allows you to have, um, you can put, take a gap, like a, a image gallery in, in WordPress and make that image gallery so you can flip through it. So that's what these little arrows are set up for, so you can flip through all the different photos. But I'm using this to de demonstrate how video would work with it. You can also go in here and set how it will fit the screen. There's many different little you know, kind of items in here that you can set. Um, social icons are also here, so you can turn off those social icons on the top there. Um, I like it because once you uh, click on the share button, if they go to that page, the box pops up and the video is there. So there's that. Um, the last one I want to show you. And you can remove the power by food box. You can totally remove the power by food box. <laughs> it's down in here somewhere. <laughs> so if we go and uh, let me disable this plugin. So the last one I want to show you is something called Lead Player. And what Lead Player is, is it's a way to generate leads using your video. So you can actually set up a, a stop point in the video where the video will start playing, it'll stop, and it says, you know, essentially holds the video ransom and so, you know, hostage and says, okay, the ransom is, give me your email address. They type in the email address, hit the button, and it adds them to your mailing list, and you get to watch the rest of the video. So Lead Player is another paid, paid plugin as well, and you'll have to go onto their website and check out the different features that they have for it. Um, but with Lead Player, we go in here, and I have a page already set up with it in there. And let's turn that on real quick. And we'll go view this page. OK. So what Lead Player does is a few different ones. And I kind of set up these already built in. You can actually hear one of them is automatically playing. Where's it at here? So there's me automatically playing. We'll kind of go through each of the different ones. You can see how this kind of popped up and says, hey, what's your, uh, what's your, your first name and email address? <laughs> so the first one here, we can do um, lead player. We hit the play button. I'll turn it up a little bit so you can hear. <laughs> so you can see down here, it shows a um, subscribe to us on YouTube channel. If you click on that, it'll subscribe to us to, on our YouTube channel. And then it waits X number of seconds and then says, hey, what's your email address? It gives us a skip button, so if we want, you can skip the button and continue talking or watching that thing. Um, then if we scroll down a little bit more, we have another one that will autoplay and do that. We already saw that. 
Um, we have one that does a opt-in at the beginning, and then it doesn't have a call to action in the middle of it, which you'll see that in just a second here. So wait a second. Oh, actually, this one, it's one more down. My apologies. So if we go here, you'll see it does a couple variations of it. So this one, before it even be, you know, begins playing, it asks you that question. And then there's one where I'll wait up to 10 seconds and do it, and then another one that does, you know, Different variations of the same thing. So you can thing. put any call of action you want in there. Correct. So you can take a picture of that through the wrong, through the wrong, yes. through the wrong device. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if we go and uh, we'll go and take a look at the uh, the plugin the plugin here. And again, you have to look on their website. It's been a tiny bit since I've um, I've played around with it. Um, I haven't used it for any of my personal stuff, but I've used it for um, customers. Thing. So if we go in here, you can see here's all the variations of it. This thing's made for, for folks like you, folks that just they don't want to do any coding. They just want to get in there and mess with it quickly and easily and make some quick changes to it. Mm -hmm. So if we go in here and hit edit, you can see where I can change the title of it, the video description. You can put it in the YouTube video. You can specify the height and width, have it autoplay or not, mm -hmm. and then so on and so forth. And then once it's you can also, like you're asking, can you make a, an image show up at the beginning of it? You can set that image here so that way it'll be the first image that gets displayed. I was asking if you take a picture of the person viewing it. No. Thank goodness. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry about that. I thought, I thought you were saying is it doesn't display like a, a, a picture of the end. Yeah, you wouldn't want to do that. I, I don't know about you, but there's some people that, I mean, I, I, do, a, I do a web show every week and Thank goodness I tell people to put their shirt and pants on. So <laughs> definitely wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> so once you're done uh, with configuring this thing, if you just go and click embed, it gives you the embed code. And we just learned about embed codes a little bit ago as well. So you just take that embed code, drop it into the, uh, the website, the, the actual page or post that you're going to be doing, and have that be displayed. So I can show you how I set those up within that particular page. So if we go into lead player and hit the edit button, you can see I have all of these different ones listed here. These are the different embed, the embed codes that I set up. And it looks like a bunch of gobbledygook, but really what it is is this part right here is the, the main important part of it. So by using lead player's uh, embed, um, embed uh, generator, rather the uh, short code generator, it generates these little short codes for you to put into the page. So those are the three, the three different ones. Um, any questions? It, it will accept a different amount of seconds. Yes, it, it definitely does. So if we go back into the, uh, the lead player editor here and click on edit, you have opt-in where you can set the call action and when do you want this opt-in to show up. You can also integrate it with MailChimp. So if you have, there's, there's quite a few different ones that it actually integrates with. So if we go in here, you can see we can do eWeber, FusionSoft, eye contact, MailChimp, get response, blah, 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 blah. Campaign monitor, so pretty much all of those. Um, I'm not a huge fan of these, primarily because I'm, you know, I'm a geek and I, I kind of want to be able to have things happen the way I want them to happen. But if you're someone who ha is putting somebody into a squeeze page and it's just like, here's the only thing that you can do is this video and it auto played, and 20 seconds later, boom, there's your give me your email address thing, and then boom, here's how to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That'd be the way to do it. Same with the call to actions. Pick off the call to action. Do you want to have them auto redirect after they do the call to action? Click here to buy now. Boom, buy now. Take you off to the site. I use the, uh, subs the subscribe URL for YouTube because I want people to subscribe to my show. So you can do that. Any other questions? It looks like their, uh, their website saying they're not selling it right now. Oh, but that's great. Website. We're preparing for good, better things in 2014. So. Awesome! I always loved, I always loved showing stuff off like right when they do that. I said that like yesterday. <laughs> um, Foo Box, if you go take a look at their stuff, um, I love using their stuff for being able to display images. You can actually mix images with um, with photos as well, or images and videos as well. So you can kind of go through and look at all the stuff there. That's it for today. Thanks. <laughs>